Hi, Andrew Canvey here with Better Sheets, helping you make better Google Sheets every single day. Hello, welcome to Better Sheets, the YouTube channel brought to you by bettersheets.co. Today's video is a question from a member. Wallace asked this question about adding names to a list. They have a main list. They have new names that they don't know if they're on that list and they're hunting and pecking and trying to find out how many people are on this list. I show in a few moments exactly how to get the list of new members to add to that list. But also I go deeper into figuring out that consistently. Where can I just add a list to one tab and get another list on another tab of people to add? makes it super simple. Once you go through a few little formulas, we're just using formulas in this sheet, no scripts, no scripting. It's very basic formulas that you can get. You probably want to get to this video. You're wondering, how do I do this? How do I have a list of names? Who's on the list? Who's not on the list? How do I know? Watch this video. Welcome. So we have a question from a member, Wallace, who is asking about finding new names from a list that there is a main list of names. And Wallace wants to know, I have a new list of names and I want to know which names are on that list and which names are not on that list. So let me go through the question again and then we'll get to the answer. So he's asking, Wallace is asking, what's the easiest way to take two columns in separate sheets find out if any names are missing from a column. He has a master list of names and another list from a recent meeting, trying to find out who's not on the main or master list. The master list has over 700 names. The meeting list has 175 names on it. Some are on the master, some are not. And the objective is to get the names that do not show up on the main list. So you can add them to the main list. And what could happen, right, if we have a main list here, Let's create a new list. So we have a new list and a main list. Let's quickly generate some random names. Let's organize this. We, well, we don't even have to organize it. We know they're somewhere random. We can actually even randomize this. Yeah, I don't know if you know about this, but just for fun, we're gonna go up to data randomize range. Now we don't really know where. We can maybe pick and paw at this, right? Safia, are they on the main list? There they are. Oh my God, we, they're already there. Where's Caitlin? Are they there? Nope, they're not there. And that's probably what you're doing now. But we can do this pretty quickly with a match. So one way we can do this is equal match. Kind of match for Sophia. Where are we going to match them is in main. And search type, we always want to do zero. There's some other ways to do this, but I always put a zero there. Now, what the number tells us is it's 191. So let's go to main 191, see if that is true. 191, there's Sophia, great. Now uh, we can copy and paste this, right? We can, now we're gonna get an error. We said did not find value, that's actually really good. That's someone that's not on the page. Nazim is, and we just keep going, right? But we can even do a little bit better. If we have a column here, it goes down to 100, and we have this formula, we could double click in the bottom right corner of the, let's get out of this error. We get click in the, double click in the bottom right corner, and now everything is filled in. But now we have one more little tiny issue, right? We've gotten that, we had a big issue where we didn't know who's on the list. Now we know who's on the list, Bradley Poole, Tracy Knights, and sure, you're probably going to, the next thing you're probably going to do is take B and A and sort, sort like this, and there you go. There's everyone on the list, there's everyone off the list is the NA. <sighs> but we could probably tidy this up. You might not want to see NA, so if you just need to grab the names and go, there you go, you have all the names here, and you can copy and paste them over to your main totally fine. But let's say we don't want to be copying and pasting. We just want a, or we do want to copy and paste just a list. We don't have to hunt and peck here. We could do a filter here, filter range, this column A. <clears throat> Condition is that column B is over zero. And we have the new names, but 
that's just the names that were already on there. How do we get a filter of errors? Well, maybe we don't have an error. Instead of match, we go if error, or around match, we go if error, we do zero. So copy and paste that all the way down. Now we have zeros. So our filter can change to B to B equals zero. And now these are all of the people that had an error, now have zero, but now we have them in one column. We can even say something like, this is not new, add. There we go. And we can copy, paste this, or cut this to here. Now the formula will change to the, the sheet. So this was A to A and B to B, but now it's a sheet. That's pretty cool. Now we have this formula here. But there's a couple more steps we can do here, right? Say we just want to copy paste the list into here and add the new the new ones, and then we want to get the them here. If we ever have this, if we ever have a list more than these formulas go, we have to come in here and copy paste this formula all the way down. Well, we don't really want to do that. How do we fix that? We probably could do an array formula. This is fun for array formula. Put that around there. And instead of A1, we do A1A. Now that's pretty cool. There is only one formula on this sheet. And it is up here on this. It's an array formula. And it has done exactly the same thing. Here's all the zeros though. Hmm. So now we're getting zeros when there's nothing there. We've got to fix that. So we do something like if is blank and inside is blank. We do two, actually two commas there. We do a one a. Now let's look down. We still have the zeros. And now we have nothing. Wow. So we could actually do something else other than zero here. So instead of a if error zero, let's do add. That's pretty cool. Let's see what happens. Now we have text that says add, and then we have blanks. So now on our add, we need to change this from equals zero to equals add. Wow. So now we can copy paste any number of names in this new tab. This formula will will expand and, and detract and, and ex expand and de <laughs> and contract as much as needed because of this error if error and the matching and the blank. So if, if it's a blank, it'll be nothing. If there's an error, it'll say add. If we do match, we'll have a number from the main. We know, okay, Avalyn, well here, Caitlin Hall is on 12. Are they on 12? There they are, 12. So this is pretty cool. We've now been able to take sort of hunting and pecking, finding each person on the next on the main page down to now we can just copy paste this entire list. We can even delete the entire list. Then we add anyone we want. We got them. If there are new names... They will come up with add and they will be on a separate page so we can just grab them and add them to our main. Hopefully, Wallace, this is pretty cool for you. I was excited to get your email and all members are welcome to email me any questions like this is really fun to figure out. We now can add people's names that are not on the list to the list. Pretty easy, right? Once we have that formula set up, the page is set up correctly. One thing I want to mention is that if you are looking for access to the sheet, if you're looking for access to 100 plus more videos and you want to also get into scripting, maybe this is the next step, become a member of bettersheets.co. You can become a member today. You can also become a member for free. You'll get access to 60 plus videos. If you become a member for $19 a month, you get access to all videos and the sheet that comes with each one. So you get some templates. If you become a lifetime member today, one price, you'll never pay again. I want to thank you for watching this entire video. Leave a comment below that you got to this point. 
leave a comment and let me know you got to the end. Thanks for watching. Don't make any sheets, make better sheets.